As parents, we encourage our children to commit or dedicate themselves to certain things, like getting a good education. We encourage them to be careful with who they keep company with. As they grow older, we encourage them to pick certain goals and to pursue those goals to completion. And just as we desire for our children to be dedicated, God wants that same dedication from his children. And this is a personal dedication that each and every one of us must make toward God. A committed, dedicated life begins with a primary decision. And regardless of what field one decides to pursue or to study, we must first make the decision that this is what we want to do, that this is the course that we want to follow. Joshua told the people of his day to choose who you're going to serve. Choose you this day whom you're going to serve, whether the gods which your father served that were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. And the people said unto Joshua, The Lord our God we will serve, and his voice we will obey. Joshua chapter 24, verses 15 and 24. We find Jews and Gentiles alike in the New Testament beginning the Christian walk with a primary decision to obey the gospel. They had to believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, for without faith it is impossible to be pleasing. They had to repent of their sins. Jesus said, unless you repent, you will likewise perish. They had to be willing to confess their faith. Jesus said, if you confess my faith before men, I will confess you. If you confess my name before men, I will confess your name before my Father which is in heaven. And then they had to be baptized into Christ. Jesus said, He that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be condemned. Today I'd like to share with you four things that this personal dedication requires of us. First, there must be a determination. Paul said of the Macedonians, And this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord, and unto us by the will of God. 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 5. The Macedonians gave themselves to the Lord. And you can see determination in the life of Paul from what he says in Philippians 4 and verse 13. He says, Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things that are before to be a genuine disciple of the Lord, one must not only be willing to put the Lord first in all things, but one must have done so. A mere profession is far from being enough. If people are determined to put the Lord first, then they will. People usually do what they are committed or determined to doing. Secondly, there must be discipline in our lives. And we see very little self-discipline today. Many people do not have the self-discipline to carry through on tasks that they should perform. We have people who want to be educated, but they don't have the discipline to study. We have people who want to be athletes, but they're not disciplined enough to put in the long, hard hours of training that are necessary. It requires discipline to study God's Word, attend services of the church, and to put the Lord first. It requires discipline to avoid sins of the flesh that cause so many to fall. And one who is dedicated and committed will have the discipline to follow through. Number three, we must have a devotion to God. The deepest yearning of our heart should be to grow into the kind of person that God would have us to be. We do not always remember this because we live in worlds that involve so many different kinds of pressures. For too many people, Christ is very real and Christianity is very meaningful. But for some, Christ is not very real, and Christianity has no meaning to them. It's something that's only skin deep. It's a habit. Some are like Peter and follow the Lord from afar off. For many, Christianity is not a new way of living. It has not been a higher set of values to live by, a life of service to one's fellow man, and hours of meaningful worship to God. Paul wrote to the Romans in Romans 12 and verse 1. He says, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things, all old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. And lastly, number four, there must be discrimination. Jesus told the people to choose you this day. Joshua, choose you this day whom you will serve. We must grow in order that we may be able to discern between good and evil, Hebrews 5 and verse 14. 
But strong meat belongeth to them that are of full age, even those who by reason of use have their sins exercised to discern both good and evil. Christians must set their minds on things above. A Christian is one who has been set apart for a holy purpose. He is not of this world, though he still is in this world. The ship is in the ocean, but when you get the ocean in the ship, you have a problem. And Christians must not see how close they can live to the world and yet not be in sin. And so today, I ask you, are you living this dedicated life? Please consider the four things that I've mentioned to you today and become the dedicated Christian that you should be. Thank you, and have a blessed day.